Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 4x4 test tent with another unboxing video. Happy 420 to everybody out there. Make sure you take a look at the link below to my website. Check the discount codes there and see what discount codes will work with any of the sales over the week here. But right now we're going to get into this light, which is from Mars Hydro. It is the FCE 4800. Let's get into it. All right, there we are. Got it all hooked up and ready to go. Nice little six bar light there. Let's take a look at the uh, manual and the accessories that it comes with. Okay, let's take a look at what comes with the light when you open it up. Of course, you've got the manual. We'll go over that real quick in a second here, but let's take a look at the uh, accessory pack. Of course, we've got the, uh, the little hanging kit that we were already using to uh, hang the light. Then you've got these little brackets here that actually go into this bottom bracket on the driver to if you want to mount it to the light itself. This is how you would do it, is with these brackets. It's pretty easy to do. I won't be doing that today. I like to test it with the, uh, uh, the driver outside the tent. And then this is the rest of the stuff in here usual daisy chain phone cord that good stuff we've got the rope ratchets which i use my own rope ratchets to hang stuff in here uh looks like we're still looking at the plastic gear on the rope ratchets and then of course you get the the driver itself which is beefy there's a good look at the driver there for you that is a lg solutions limited driver there's the dimmer with the daisy chain set up. And then this is the uh, port for the uh, web control app, which I, I heard they're uh, working on revamping the web control app and it's gonna be pretty sick. So we'll wait on that. But that's the driver that it comes with. And then we've got the manual here for the FCE series. Uh, FCE is, is basically just like a kind of budget version of the FC series. It's just a little bit cheaper. Uh, maybe a, not quite as as robustly built. The FC series is actually a pretty nice series. The FCE, you just save a little bit of money and you sacrifice a little bit of the, the quality. It's still a great light though. And uh, this is showing you the different ones that they offer, the 1500, the 3000, the 4000, the 4800, which is what we're testing today. That is the specs on that, if you want to take a look at it. And then we go all the way up to 6,500, the 8,000, the 1,000, and the 1,200. <laughs> that thing's crazy, man. Look at that. I want to test that. I keep telling them in the videos. I'm like, I want to test that one. They haven't sent it yet. We'll see. And then it tells you the... Uh, what comes with it? You got the dimmer box, the cable, all the stuff I just went over. Uh, the stainless steel hook is only for the bigger models. Uh, that's used to actually hang the driver uh, in the tent if you want to do that. Uh, you can do that with this uh, just the way it is because it does have some holes here. You could just uh, use a rope ratchet to do that and then just hang it in the tent. So you could do that if you wanted to. Let's uh, let's hook this thing up to the par meter and see what she pushes. Oh yeah, the other <laughs> the other part of the the manual here. It really doesn't have anything. It's really just this right here for the app, and then cautions and then other languages cautions. There's nothing. There's nothing else to the manual. That's why I didn't go through it there. <laughs> but I was like, oh yeah, I guess they'll probably wonder like what's in the rest of it. But yeah, it's really nothing. Uh, the warranty here. Uh, basically tells a little bit about it at the bottom within one year free components repairing and shipping which is actually pretty good within one year and then one to five year buyer tape pay two-way shipping fees and repairing fees so they'll pay the parts uh, so I would consider this a one-year warranty honestly that's not a bad one-year warranty free components repairing and shipping in the first year that's actually better than what they used to do uh, so I'm pretty happy with that and it's printed in the manual, so pretty sweet. There we go. I guess we did learn something in the rest of the manual. All right, we are all set up and ready to go. This thing is 
covering the tent actually really quite nicely. I don't remember the uh, the 4800 covering a 4x4 this well. It's actually just about wall to wall. For being a 6 bar, that's not bad at all. Uh, the cord is a little bit short to be running outside the tent. Um, normally I have the cord off to the side here so you can't see it, but uh, it is a little bit shorter there than uh, what I would say is the normal. But uh, setup couldn't be any easier. Setup is crazy easy. I mean, it's a folder. You just unfold it, set up the, uh, the uh, hanging system there, which is super easy. It just snaps right in. Rope ratchets, hang it, good to go. You got a quick disconnect here so you don't have to have the driver attached to it while you hang it. Uh, it's, it's super easy. And then if you want to uh, hook the driver up to the top of it, like I said, it's got those brackets that, that it comes with there. So we've got it uh, about as far down as it'll go and still be on. Let's uh, kick on the par meter here, see what we're pushing. Looks like uh, 67, 68 watts and about 70, 80 par. So not quite enough there. We're going to turn it up and get to like a place to veg, or not veg, but uh, excuse me, uh, clones and seedlings. About the 130 range, somewhere in there. So that's going to be not too much higher. Just barely above off. And we're pushing about 100 watts, 105 watts at the wall. And that's going to give us enough to do clones and seedlings in the entire space. So wall-to-wall -wall clones and seedlings. Our center reading at that level is going to be 193. So not bad at all on the spread. Let's go ahead and kick it up to uh, veg here. See where that's going to be. Probably around 50 maybe. 50%. Like to be about 350 to 400, about right there. Now the the as usual the back side is going to be a little stronger reading and the front side is going to be a little less because the front side is obviously completely open here because I'm here, and the back side is uh, nicely enclosed with reflection, so it is a little bit higher reading back there. Uh, but this is going to give you uh, pretty much veg all the way around the tent. We're pushing uh, 296, 97 watts, like 300 watts at the wall. Really, really good. Center reading. Looking at 568. That's that's totally fine. This is going to be a really, really great veg light in a 4x4 space. Knock it out of the park. No complaints whatsoever when it comes to vegging in the space. So let's go ahead and we'll kick it up to flower oh we're gonna go all the way to max it looks like yeah so we are completely maxed out there and that's gonna put us at 600 on the the nicest corner back there so that's about as that's about the lowest that i recommend to flower with is 600 uh that's where i seem to anything lower than that i seem to see the the bud density just really fall off uh, 600 and above, 600 to 900 is really good. Uh, let's take a look at the center reading, see what we're at. And speaking of 900, look at that, 901, almost right on the dot. So 600 to 900, if you enclose this thing, you're likely to get uh, 600 all the way around and 900 in the middle. So that's, that's just perfect, man. It's almost like Mars Hydro has been watching my videos and they just, uh, they know what I like. Because <laughs> this thing is tuned exactly for what I've been recommending in all my videos. I mean, that's what I like to grow with. Uh, 600 to 900. Uh, I mean, now that I'm uh, getting some of the crazier lights out there, I have I have gone up to like 1,200 to... I've even had like one cola that was like 2,400 uh, par, which is ridiculous. Like it did have a little bit of bleaching to it. A little bit of fox tailing it gets kind of crazy when you get that high. It's not really good for the plant uh, to be at that lighting level, like uh, 1200 or something like that. 
yeah, if you're an advanced grower, you can definitely do that. But this, this light here seems to be tuned perfect for your mid-level to uh, beginner grower. Uh, basically the majority of people that are going to be home growers this light is tuned perfectly for in a 4x4 tent um, that's pretty awesome so right out of the box you hook it up and you're ready to grow pretty killer so yeah let's uh, take a spectral reading here let me grab the spectrometer out of the box here Make sure you guys take a look at the uh, the deals on my website below. Uh, 420, all the uh, discount codes. Some of them do stack. I know the Mars Hydro discount code does stack with the 420 sales. So keep that in mind. Come on. There we go. Zeroed out. Let's take a look. And we've got... A very nice blue and a very nice red spike looking pretty good i i do like this spectrum here better than some of the other companies out there uh because you've got uh less of the green and yellow and more of the the red and the orange i'm not a real big fan of the green and the yellow i mean it kind of has to be there but i'd rather have the blue the red and the orange personally so pretty good setup there awesome awesome so now all we have to do is uh, let it warm up and then we'll take a uh, heat reading and uh, wrap it up. That's about it. All right, we're back. I've let it warm up for a couple of hours here. Let's take a look. See if we see any unusual hot spots or anything. I don't see anything there. Max of 115, which isn't bad at all. I've seen upwards of 130s on some of these bars before. So not bad. How about the driver? Driver's 136. So that's definitely getting pushed, but nothing too crazy. So yeah, this is a great little budget light, man. This thing's great for a 4x4. Really good for a beginner to a, a intermediate grower. Awesome, man. Not, you can't really ask for a whole lot more in a light than this uh, for somebody to start with. It's pretty great. Uh, you get a discount also for 420 plus my discount code below stacks with that. So that's even more money off. Awesome, awesome. Hope you guys have a great 420. And uh, that's really about it, man. Can't really say much else about it. Have a great 420 and until uh, next time, guys, happy growing.